A woman accused of displaying a banned terrorist organisation flag at a rally in Sydney last month has pleaded not guilty. Reporter Sarah Gerethy was at the Sydney court and she joins us now. Uh, so Sarah, this will be one of the first legal tests for new laws banning displaying flags of terrorist organisations in public. What will the prosecution need to prove? Well, that's right, Roz. This offence is contained in new expanded laws that ban the idolisation or promotion of extremist views. And they establish a new offence, which is uh, publicly displaying the symbols of a prohibited terrorist organisation. And that carries a maximum prison sentence, if proven, of up to 12 months. Now, these new laws were brought in by the Commonwealth earlier this year in response to what was seen as a rise in far-right activities, namely after neo-Nazi groups were seen to be displaying swastika flags and giving the Nazi salute. But the first time that they were used was in the wake of uh, rallies held here in Sydney in the, at the end of September in protest of Israel's bombardment of Gaza and Lebanon. And at those rallies, several protesters were filmed holding Hezbollah flags as well as waiting placards and pictures of its slain leader Hassan Nasrallah. Now Hezbollah was declared a terrorist organisation by the Australian government in 2021. After these rallies, in the wake of these rallies, police released a photo allegedly showing 19-year-old Sarah Mahana and she subsequently turned herself into police and was charged with this offence. But it's not as simple as simply proving that somebody was waving a Hezbollah flag or a flag of a banned terrorist organisation. In order to uh, prove this offence, the prosecution will have to prove a number of other elements. And they include that a reasonable person would conclude the accused was inciting hatred or advocating violence against a group or likely to insult, intimidate or humiliate somebody based on the basis of their race, religion or ethnicity. And there's also an element of intent which needs to be proven, Roz. So we know today that Sarah Mahana has pleaded not guilty in court, but her lawyer has not yet revealed on what grounds she'll be fighting the charges. He spoke briefly outside the court and only said that she would be vigorously defending them. The matter is defended at this stage um, and it will remain defended. I can't say anything about the matter any further other than it's going to be defended and we have our proposed defence. Court. It was only brief court appearance, Sarah. What will happen next in this case? Excused from her next court appearance and she remains on strict conditional bail, Roz. Her matter is next expected to come before the courts in December.